Eagle Nation, we exist in historic times, but the beat goes on in Statesboro as Georgia Southern men's basketball has its head coach. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Danny Reed. Director of Athletics Jerry Benko making the announcement that Brian Berg takes over the Eagle men's basketball program. He comes into a great situation for a squad that has won 20 games or more in each of the last three seasons for the first time in more than 30 years. Berg, though, has won everywhere he has ever been, starting his coaching career back in 2003, working his way up the ladder until getting to Texas Tech for the last four seasons, where last year the Red Raiders won a school record 31 games and participated in a national championship against the University of Virginia. We had a chance to catch up with Coach Brian Berg now that he's made it safely to Statesboro. Brian, this journey being a college coach started for you back in 2003. That's 17 years, and I know it's always been a dream of yours to be a Division I head coach. But what about this opportunity at Georgia Southern was so attractive? Well, plain and simple, from the first time I became a coach, I always wanted to get to the Division I level, and I wanted to become a Division I head coach. Georgia Southern fits me. I fit Georgia Southern. <laughs> I've had experience recruiting all different types of players. You look at a place like Georgia Southern with rich tradition, winning tradition, um, also the community, Statesboro, what the people in the community stand for. You got individuals that will just roll up their sleeves, get their hands dirty, blue collar mentality, it's something that I stand for and something that our program stands for. So this is a dream come true, something that I dreamed of, like you said, for the last 17 years from whenever I started coaching. And I'm just thankful for this day. You mentioned that a couple of times during your press conference that Georgia Southern is about a blue collar mentality. Georgia Southern is a hidden gem. But as you've gone through this process, what have you found out about this place that helps you affirm that even more? Well, I feel like I'm at home. I know we're going through different times. Yeah. But coming into town, I just feel really comfortable. I can't wait once this pandemic uh, passes over to get a chance to meet people in the community, truly show them the vision that. Uh, Georgia Southern basketball is all about. Uh, I can't say one thing. Uh, I feel like I'm keeping Verizon Wireless in business because I've been on the phone nonstop <laughs> from night or from morning to night, uh, making calls, trying to turn to recruit at a high level to make sure we have the best team possible that represents Statesboro as well as Georgia Southern on the court as well as off. These are unprecedented times that we're in, not just from the standpoint of the social distancing, but the fact that the world has pretty much been put on pause. And oh, by the way, you just became a first time Division I head coach. What did you learn about yourself going through this process? A little bit of adversity because this is all new. Um, but I think from the adversity that we've had in, in, in our career, the common saying we use is tough times pass, tough people last, TTP, TPL. And, uh, I'm fortunate for this opportunity. I have a plan. I'm going to execute that plan. We're going to get quality players, and uh, we're going to put the best product on the court. We're going to win some games. You had to sell Athletic Director Jared Benko on your vision. You had to sell President Dr. Kyle Marrero on your vision. You had to sell the search committee on your vision. What can you tell Eagle Nation about that vision? Well, simply stated, every decision we make in our program is about winning. And I've had a lot of experience from the NAIA level, junior college level, uh, as well as the Division I at all different, all different levels throughout Division I. The vision is every decision we make is about winning. We're going to work on a day-to-day -day basis with a process, and we're going to believe in that process. Rarely are you going to hear us talk about winning championships with our team. We're talking about winning the day. And how do you do that? You have to end up putting small things on top of each other each day to make sure that you end up having success. I was able to communicate with Jared as well as uh, Dr. Marrero and the search committee, uh, that you have to have well-rounded student athletes. We're going to have to graduate our players. That's a big, big focus of mine to make sure that all student athletes, that once they come to Georgia Southern, that they're going to graduate. And it can be bigger than basketball. So we're going to be the complete student athlete. We're going to represent ourselves great in the community as well as on the court. And I'm excited to, to, to get this thing started. Your peers think a lot of you whether it's your ability to recruit at any level or your reputation as a grinder. And you talked about it already, about how you being blue collar fits this place so well. But specifically the challenge of doing it here, what can you tell us about that? I've said it once and I'll say it again. You can hear this quite a bit. Georgia Southern is a hidden gem. Uh, you have the mentality in the community of just blue collar, let's work. But this place fits me. 
And the reason I say that is the recruiting strategies. You can have a wide mixture of recruits, but we're going to have guys that are going to buy into the program, an unselfish culture. We're extremely going to be unselfish. We're going to play for the guy next to us. We're also going to have no entitlement in our program. We're going to have great discipline. And then we're going to, we're going to come to work every single day. Not a three to five guy. We're going to have guys that love the game of basketball. They're going to buy in. And um, our best basketball is ahead of us. Typically, when coaches take over a new situation, they need to vastly improve the past situation. But Georgia Southern has won 20 games or more in three straight years. They've done it four times in the last six seasons. But you're a guy coming in just a year ago, cutting down nets and playing for a national championship while at Texas Tech. How does this place take the next step? Well, I think on a day-to-day -day, um, day -day mentality, you're going to have to implement your culture. But you have to think there's a winning, winning, winning culture here now. Four years, 80 games. Uh, Mark Byington did an unbelievable job, he and his staff. Um, I'm going to continue to recruit at a high level, get these guys to buy in coming into Georgia Southern. And then collectively, we're going to play at a high level. How do you do that? With a great brand of basketball. On offense, we're going to end up running motion offense, incorporate the ball screen. But I also like to call it winning basketball. I want guys to have the ability to be able to read the defense, be able to play the game rather than running plays. I want to teach them how to play rather than just coming down and running plays. That's a big aspect of mine. I think that correlates to the next level. And then on defense, it's the mentality around here. GATA. We're going to be the most aggressive team. We're really going to be aggressive. We're going to be. We're going to get after it. We'll have some grit, and we're going to defend. If you have those two combinations, you're putting yourself in chance to have a great chance of winning games. You've worked for a lot of great coaches. Most recently, Chris Beard, who many consider is maybe the top coach in all of college basketball. You've worked for Lavelle Moten at NC Central. You've worked with Robbie Lang, a former Eagle assistant at Campbell. You have worked with some of the best. What do you take from them? Take a little bit of peace from each individual coach. Uh, one is humility. These guys had no ego. Every coach that I've worked for has no ego. They, they show up to work and they consistently bring it on a day-to-day -day basis. That's one common characteristic amongst every, every coach that I've been fortunate to work for. And then two is the attention to detail. I think that carries over. Each guy has his attention to detail is, is specific. Um, and then they're all winners. Every single day they bring it. Every single day they demand excellence. And um, it's a winning culture. I've been, I've been very fortunate to be around elite people and I think over the course of 17 years, it's prepared me for this opportunity right now. You talked a little bit about getting out in the community and getting Statesboro involved in packing Hander Fieldhouse, but specifically with our students. What plans do you have to have the Hander Hooligans become the Hander Hooligans? Well, one, I can't wait to meet them. <laughs> it's important to get out there to have a great relationship with our students. You have to end up attacking campus first in the plan to be able to pack Hander Fieldhouse. How else do you do that? You work together with teams here at Georgia Southern. And it's, it's a two-way street. It's not just one way, hey, come to the games. Our program will be involved. We'll be at other matches. We'll be at other games supporting other student athletes. But the students we're gonna need. And if, I'd love to get a chance to spend some time with the Hander Hooligans. Uh, and then also going out into the community. It's important for us to, to connect with the community with different service events, things along those lines that uh, are really going to benefit. Uh, Hander Fieldhouse is by far the toughest play in, place to play in the Sun Belt. And uh, it's a huge goal of mine to be able to pack Hander Fieldhouse. You might ask why. Why is it so important? There is a direct correlation between fans and seats and winning. Yeah. And uh, that's a huge goal. So we're going to work extremely hard to uh, accomplish that goal and pack out Hander Fieldhouse. You've gone from someone who made $7,500 a year working five jobs at the same time to just being introduced as the head coach at Georgia Southern University. From a personal standpoint, what does this moment mean to you? Words can't express it. Um, it's a dream come true. I almost get choked up talking about it. Um, there's been sacrifices, sacrifices on my end, sacrifices from family members, sacrifices by close friends, but uh, this is a dream come true. I couldn't ask for a better place to work in Georgia Southern, and uh, I have a dream, and that is accomplished by becoming a Division One head coach, but I'm just getting started. 
my chip on the shoulder whenever I wake up. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to build this program into a power. And how do you do that? You, you have to be competitive on a day-to-day -day basis with discipline and consistency. And I think I can bring that every single day. Welcome to Statesboro. Congratulations. Thank you. Hell Southern. GATA. For updates regarding Georgia Southern men's basketball and Georgia Southern athletics as a whole, stay tuned to GSEagles.com and all of our social media platforms. We'll get through this at some point. Stay safe, be healthy, and we'll be back here real soon. GATA.